All right, folks, Steve Harris with Low Class Media. The summer break is over. We're back here to racing in the Texas Off-Road Championship Series. Got the kids' races going on behind us here. It's gonna be a great race today. Diamond Willow is a super great property. It is a little dry, though, and pretty hot, so everybody's gonna be drinking their water, getting their electrolytes, and uh, kind of fighting the dust today. But we're gonna go walk around the pits, catch up with some of the folks here, and just see how everybody's doing. So yeah, let's jump into it. So the first person we're gonna be catching up with today is our featured rider. He's six foot six, oh, whoa. but- Six seven. Oh, okay. He's six foot seven, but some say he acts like he's three foot tall. Yep, yep. Kyle Cowden. Yes, What's sir. up, buddy? I'm almost, brother. Just ready to ride, man. Kyle raced with me in Open D uh, for a little bit before I moved up to 250 mm -hmm. FC, and uh, we've been having a really great time. Kyle, how are you feeling about today, brother? I'm good, man. I'm looking forward to it. It's been a long time since we raced. Um, Absolutely. Really excited to be here, man. Definitely. Got some, got some seat time on the bike. Hopefully be a little bit better. What are you riding? Faster. I got a 22 YZ450. Yeah. With well, some sick new graphics, right? It's, yeah. Oh yeah, they yeah. look good. It's good stuff. It's, it's pretty fast. Probably don't need that much bike. <laughs> but. I enjoy it. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Hey, so have you have you raced at this property before? I did last year. Uh, I did about two laps, then uh, improper bike maintenance. Uh-oh. Uh, I forgot to put the cotter pin on uh, the uh, rear axle nut. It came off, so chain got all messed up. I hear you. I had a little 01KX 125 back then. So oh, okay, so we, we've definitely stepped so. up. We've gone from one end of the spectrum to the other with the 450 Yeah, here. pretty much, yeah. So uh, how are you feeling about the heat? How are you feeling about the weather, the dust? What do you think? I'm fine with the weather. The heat doesn't really bother me, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, the dust is what's going to suck. Um, Why is that? It's dusty, bro. It's not good. <laughs> good you answer. Good answer. Plenty of tear-offs. Absolutely. And uh, don't ride with your mouth open. He's trying to get out in front. I'm going to drag my feet. There All you, the dust comes up behind there you go. body. I'm going to be trying to be gone. We'll see, though. Well, it sounds like a good strategy. <laughs> awesome, dude. Well, let's get him to practice, and then uh, we'll see what the track's like after practice. Sounds good, brother. Are you ready for practice, Eric? I am. You got ready your earplugs in? Can you even hear me right now, dude? <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, getting ready for practice here. Let's go check out this track. <laughs> All right, folks, we just finished practice here. It's uh, it's gonna be tough, and uh, got Kyle. We're catching up with Kyle here. Kyle, it's uh, it's pretty dusty. Yeah. Um, gotta stand up. Yeah. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Stand what do you think about the sand? You know, honestly, I don't mind the sand. Yeah. Because the time you came over the road of the house. All oh, right, right. Sand, you know, so we're somewhat used to it, but. It still gets touch and go from time to time. Sure. Just squeeze and look forward and throttle on, keep going, stand up. Uh, it's definitely dusty, so whole shot is a uh, whole shot. You gotta go for the whole shot. Absolutely, whole shots keep for sure. I'm glad. I'm glad you're feeling great because uh, I'm feeling like trash, brother. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Now it was a interesting course. Um, I probably prefer a few different elements myself, but uh, we'll get out there, see I what we like can do. You feel like it's longer? I feel like it's longer. Than I thought it was shorter. Uh, we got all kinds of different opinions here. Okay. D, C. 
All right, brother. Well, good luck. You know how it goes. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Time to suffer, folks. Time to suffer. I didn't want someone to be crashing and run over them, so. Like this, you can't see anything. Some of these guys are more brave than me, for sure. But I figured, honestly, in this race, just kind of just let it come to you. It's going to be a supper fest no matter what, so. Probably just... Holy shit. <laughs> just try to get to the first lap and see what happens after that. Not bad going into the woods Jesus here. Jesus Christ! Going into the woods here about seventh or eighth or so, maybe. Oh man, it's a dusty mess in here. All right. We are officially settled in and racing. Oh, there's Casper. Already digging himself out of the dirt. <laughs> this was such a hard race, man. As, as soon as I got here, I knew it was gonna be a problem. I mean, the visibility was, visibility was just so poor. And it wasn't so much that like, I, I was trying to go slow is that you just couldn't see anything so you're so, I was so worried about driving into a hole like this like where the hell did this guy come from you know just appeared out of the dust so you just got to be careful and take it easy uh oh traffic jam trying to go around mistakes mistakes were made But, get my cool damage control, just get moving. This is definitely a race where I'm liable to lose my temper here and just totally throw myself off. This dude kept stalling his bike. Oh, this fighting's no pro Not worth it at all. Nope, not worth it at all. All right, we got around one there. Back to- There's Casper. Right back to fighting with Casper. Seems like every race we find each other. Oh, paddle feet Magoo. <laughs> oh, just whatever it takes. Oh, man. Garrett Aldridge having issues. I was 
was able to get past both of them. Now I'm feeling good. I'm like, okay, I'm making different class. Making progress. Hey, 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 hey. Nope. And Casper runs over me. <laughs> I wish everybody had a tail light like that guy. So it doesn't really look like it on video, but man, you could you can see nothing right here. Again, I was so afraid I was just gonna go drive into a hole and go down, so I was trying to take it real easy. But what good did that do me? Let's check the replay out here. Almost got ran over. This is me uh, in front here in the red, taking my time up. Oh. <laughs> thanks for the clip, Dustin, and thanks for not running me over. All right, back to my perspective here. <laughs> this one really made me mad, but I was just trying to keep my cool, not worry about it, just get the bike up and keep going. But I, every... Every time I was trying to pick it up, the bike would slide and I couldn't get any leverage. And so it was really hard to get get out get off the ground because the handlebars kind of like fell down into the rut. So I had to pick it like all the way up. And it was tough. I was gassed at this point. So right now I'm just trying to get my bread. Trying to crash again is what I'm doing. <laughs> Good God, there's bodies everywhere, man. Ah, uh, I think that was. Marcus, maybe, or I'm not sure. I can't remember what the Yamaha guy's name is. This guy just kept stalling over and over and over. All right, so I have no clue where I am in terms of place at this point, and I'm just trying to damage control even here like I could be aggressive or try to squeeze my way by but I was like nah I'm just gonna wait and then of course no come on dude <laughs> he did what I wouldn't this kid was honestly super fast and he just took off and I never saw him again all right skipping ahead pretty good here I don't think much happened after that in the first lap Oh yeah, big sand guy. Just great technique in the sand. Watch how quickly he gets through this next piece. Like, he makes this turn and then it's just gone. Like, I just don't understand, man. I cannot. He just got such great bike control through there. I mean, he's gone. And I'm still trying to get out of that hole. Check in with the homies, Eric, Diego, and company. Dylan's over there as well. Shout out to riders, to racers for the clip here. They got us some pretty cool third person views. Nice. 
All right, so this little guy here was in my class, I guess. Um, so I picked up another place right there. All right, that is the end of lap one, folks. You can hear the enthusiasm in my throttle. There's old Stephen Hart behind me. Is there an echo in here? <laughs> Different class. I'm not sure who this is, but they were riding pretty good. They they were in C class, I think. I couldn't get around them, but they were they were doing pretty good. Got the black lung. <coughs> and that was the cough that cleared my throat. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Now we got some visibility here. He was saying that that left line right there was a lot faster than having to hit that massive roof, but I never tried it out. Oh, oh man. Almost took a nosedive there. Much easier when you can see nice. them. That looked good compared to last time. Fucking fuck! <laughs> oh, the butt hurt was real, folks. Gosh. I would get on the inside of those ruts, oh, the, and my, my front tire would try to walk out, and I'd wash out. Check in with the homies again here. What's up, folks? All right, approaching the end of lap two here. I was avoiding the sand sometimes on these, especially on these inside. Not, not here I was. Not, not here was I doing that, but I was try I, there was later in the race I was avoiding some of the sand, but then even later I, I started to realize it really wasn't that bad. Oh no! Oh boy! Just, just trying to make things harder on myself. Good save. All right, making some progress here. Lap three, baby.
Yeah, see, I'm going on this outside and it's not even necessary. It's arguably worse because there's no clear to find line. And even though you have those rollers on the inside, it's they kind of just really weren't that bad. I'm not going to really blame myself for not using enough throttle. Look like dinosaur eggs. <laughs> yeah, those, those rocks look like dinosaur eggs. I'm not going to blame myself for not using more throttle because... Come on. I was so tired. Why? And... Because we kept moving? I was just so look tired. Up. And, look and, up. Uh, I was so unwilling to use the power for the sake of not being able to hold on as well as I wanted to. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Now this guy's in my class too. And I was kind of chasing him for a while. And then he just kind of pulled over. I don't know why, but I'll take it. See a fucking thing! <laughs> oh, I was big mad. Alright, lap four. This is my fastest lap. And, uh, put together some decent. Different class! Together some decent rhythm here. Yay! About to get behind a more uh, dust buster. Oh my god. I tried to go a little harder at those words. Different class! Different class! Thank you! Nice, thanks bro. I love these front forks. I really do. The old KYB technical touch spring conversion for the WP airport. It's supreme. I knew it. Sounds like Casper. Yeah. I could see Casper. The battle begins. Easy. Oh yeah. Yeah, this four strike. Who and who was it? It was you. Where was I? <laughs> Right on my tail for, I want to say like yeah, half, half a lap. Yeah, half a lap. And I, I knew when we got out in the open that you would be thinking in your head, I could beat him in the open. That's right. And then when we got in the open, I tried to pin it. You got away. I got away, but then I went round, I think I went round the outside, you went in the sand, in the rut, you got round me, and then I was like, shit. <laughs> yeah, I went on that left. 
left uh, that left one with the with the rollers in it. Yeah. That was Casper explaining his perspective of what happened, so we'll watch that play out here. All right, so he passed this guy. Casper is my biggest rival in our class. We're good buddies. So, it's always fun racing against him. This guy's in my class, too. championship round the final lap oh look at my enthusiasm come on going so fast <laughs> I was so tired I think that's like the first place open D guy right there just making his way through all of us I can barely get the bike up, honestly, in this fifth lap. I mean, usually it's nothing for me to pick the motorcycle up, but I was gassed. Faded. Completely faded. Fuck that turn. God damn it. I'm a straight up corpse. I'm a corpse on the bike right I now. I was. I was nothing but a passenger at this point. Different class. Come on, buddy.
Come on, bud, different class, move out of the way, please. Uh, I was getting nervous that Casper was gonna catch me. Golly, this was such an annoying spot right here. I, I just watching this just makes me pissed off. Appreciate the clap, bro. Any extra motivation I can get, I need at this point. <sighs> Fucker! Just crash as many times as possible. God damn it! <laughs> Motherfucker! Oh, right before the finish line. Oh, could it get any worse? What an idiot. Stupid. All right. I'm going to go catch up with our featured rider of the day, Kyle Cowden, Open D Specialist. Sir? What's up, brother? How do you, how do you feel, big dog? You know, first three laps, I felt great. Really? Yeah, I was at the first, I was second, I have a third like in the whole shot, first turn, a couple guys went down, got around them and uh, nice. kept riding, dude, three laps, I felt great after that, and I was gagged, bro, I need to, I need to hit the gym, do some fitness in. Really? And, uh, so lap four, you just hit went zombie I was, mode? I was done, and then they passed me. Damn, uh, they tracked I you down? 299, and then, uh, yeah, other guy, number 47, something like that. So you got third? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got third. I don't know yet. I haven't made it up there. Not bad. What you doing? How'd it go? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, was, uh... Yeah, I came off the line okay, but then uh, I was a little tentative about the about the dust, yeah. not being able to see, and a couple guys passed me. Yeah. I think I went in the woods maybe about fifth or sixth. It's not too bad. Then um, some people went down. I passed them. Then I went down and more people passed me. Yeah. Then I passed when they went down and uh, I probably dropped back to like eighth. But I don't know. I I know some people pulled off and then I, I passed a couple. So. Yeah, I'm anxious to see. We'll see. What you got? And what, what Chris got? I know everybody got. I'm just curious, man. But uh, what do you think about the race in general, though? Just like. Tough. It was dusty, dude. It was tough. Dude. Like I have never cramped this bad in my oh, life. Oh my god, dude! I tried to get it from a chair to come over yep. the stage, bro. I laid down my calf, balled up, my thigh, my groin, my freaking hamstring. I'm done. Same, bro. I'm gonna get home. Seriously, my entire back is yeah. cramping up, and I, I I was able to eat a hot dog, and that made me feel a lot better. So lucky, dude. Well, we'll uh, we'll see how the results are, yes, and uh, talk about them later. But uh, anyways, good race. Brother. If you finished third, I think, but we'll see. Yeah, that was a tough one. All right, folks, see you at Let's Ride Range.